Hi everyone, it's Natalie from Let's Practice English. Today we are going to be moving on to part two of the 100 words that are most difficult to pronounce in English. But before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like the video. So, on to the first one, we are going to be looking at restaurant. Now, restaurant is the type of word that is used in a lot of different languages. And obviously each language has different pronunciation, but in British English we will pronounce this word like restaurant. So as you can tell, we don't pronounce the A and the U after the initial T, it's just restaurant. And an example sentence could be, I love eating in Italian restaurants. On to the next one, we have vegetable. So with vegetable, it's easily confused because we have the word table at the end, which a lot of students might try to pronounce exactly the same as table. However, it's not pronounced the same, it's vegetable instead. And an example could be, cucumbers are my favourite vegetable. On to the next one, we have water. Now, water is pronounced differently in British English and American English. So this is where you have to really listen to that T sound because we do pronounce the T sound in British English. So if you just listen again, it's water instead of water, like the American pronunciation. And an example sentence could be, everyone needs to drink lots of water every day. On to the next one, we have chocolate. Now chocolate, again, like the first word, is used a lot in different languages. So it does have different pronunciation. But in British English, we pronounce it like chocolate. So we only really have two syllables in this word. And we miss the second O after the C. That just is not pronounced. So let me give you an example. I love eating chocolate every week. On to the next one, we have hamburger. So this word, again, like the others that we've spoken about, is used in a lot of different languages. So in, in British English, we do pronounce ham, just like the, the meat, ham, as well. And then we say burger. So at the end, we have the er uh sound. And an example sentence could be, I rarely eat hamburgers because they're so unhealthy. On to the next one, we have pizza. So pizza, obviously, is a word that has originated from Italian, but we have changed the pronunciation a little bit in British English. At the beginning of the word, it's written as P-I, but in our pronunciation, it's more like a P-E. It's like p z instead. So again, at the end, we don't really pronounce the A. It's more like an er uh sound. And an example sentence could be, the Italians invented pizza. On to the next one, we have cucumber. I'm sure you guys know what this is. It's a type of vegetable. The pronunciation of this word is quite difficult because we have a lot of C's and U's in the word. But if you just listen again, we pronounce it like cucumber. So as you can tell at the beginning, it's a different sound to the middle C sound. So it's Q, cum, ber. So we have two different sounds actually instead. And an example sentence could be, cucumber is really healthy because it has lots of water inside. On to the next one, we have schedule. Now schedule can be pronounced in two different ways. You could say schedule or schedule. Now both of these are totally fine. Yeah, so both of these are totally fine to use. You can choose which one you want to use. Now let me just give you a quick tip as to how to pronounce the end of this word. So as you can see, it's spelt D-U-L-E, but it's pronounced like jewel. So similarly to a jewel, like a diamond jewel at the end. And an example could be, my schedule every week is very busy with university work. On to the next one, we have refrigerator or fridge. 
Now fridge is just the shortened word for refrigerator and it is probably a lot more common to say fridge than refrigerator. So I'm sure you guys know what these are. These are used in the kitchen to keep things cool. And an example sentence could be, you must always keep your eggs in the fridge so that they don't go off. On to the next one, we have squirrel. Now, squirrel is quite difficult to pronounce because we have a Q at the beginning. And normally Qs end up turning into K sounds. So if you listen again, it's pronounced like squirrel. So at the beginning, it's squir and at the end it's roll. So it's quite a long R sound if you can hear that guys. So let me give you an example sentence. You could say, squirrels love eating nuts. On to the next one we have, unfortunately. So unfortunately is quite a long word, so it could be easily mispronounced. So let me just break it up for you. So it's un, for, chu, Na Lee. So it's not too difficult to pronounce once you break it all up into smaller sections. And an example could be, she unfortunately forgot her homework at home, therefore she couldn't hand it in to the teacher. On to the next one we have rural. So rural is any type of area that's in the countryside and outside of the city where you will see lots of green, lots of farms and lots of trees and plants and things like that. So this word is quite difficult to pronounce because a lot of students don't know how to pronounce the initial U sound. So if you listen again, it's pronounced like R, R. So both of these vowels are quite similarly pronounced but there is a little bit of a difference between them. And an example could be, it's better for children to live in rural areas rather than the city. On to the next one, we have thing and think. So these are almost pronounced exactly the same, but of course we have a different consonant at the end of the word. So I'm sure you know what thing means, it just means, you know, anything. And to think is obviously to think of something. So these are almost pronounced the same, but with just the different consonant sound at the end. So let's listen again. So the first one is thing. The second one is think. And let me give you some example sentences. The first one you could say, I haven't got anything to do. And for the second one, you could say, she needs to think hard about what to do for her next science project. On to the next one, we have probably. So probably is the type of word that could be easily mispronounced because a lot of students try to pronounce that A sound, but it's not an A at the end, it's pro-b-ly. So it's more like an uh sound rather than an a ah sound. An example sentence could be, you should probably wake up early before your exam. On to the next one, we have dangerous. So at the end of dangerous, it's quite difficult to pronounce because we have two vowel sounds. We have the O and the U. However, this is just pronounced like rus. So if you listen again, it's dane, jer, rus, dangerous. And an example sentence could be, working on an oil rig could be really dangerous. On to the next one, we have individual. So individual, I'm sure you guys know what that means. It just means to be a unique person, an individual. And the way to pronounce this correctly is in di vi -jual. So it's the end that's probably difficult to pronounce for most students. So it's remember that it's jewel. And an example sentence could be everyone is an individual. On to the next two we have beach and sheet. So these maybe have a little bit of a similar pronunciation but of course they have differences. So the first one is pronounced like beach. 
So when you see that E and the A, just remember it's pronounced like an E. Both of them are pronounced like E's. So you just say beach. And for the second one, we say sheet. So it's the same vowel sound. It's just the long I vowel in the middle. And an example could be the beaches in Turkey are always clean. And you must change your sheets at least once a week. On to the next one, we have etc or etc. So this can just be used when you don't want to list anything else. So you could say, oh, I really want apples, pears, bananas, etc. from the local market. So this word, again, has been taken from another language, but it is pronounced probably differently in British English. So if you just listen again, the first word is et, the second one is set. Tara. So that's how you pronounce it. On to the next one, we have almond and salmon. Now, even though both of these words have L's in them, the L is only pronounced in almond. So if you can hear, I pronounce the L sound in the middle, whereas in salmon, we don't pronounce the L at all. We just say salmon instead. And an example could be, Turkey grows the most almonds in the world. And eating fresh salmon is much better than eating farmed salmon. Okay guys, on to the last one we have jewellery. Jewellery. Now this word is spelt differently uh, in British English and American English. So one of them will use two L's, one of them will only use one L but it doesn't really matter and it doesn't change the pronunciation of the word. So, if you guys listen again, we pronounce it like jewel re. So as you can tell, the beginning, it's not really pronounced like an E, it's jewel. So it's more like an A sound actually at the beginning. And then the other E sound really isn't pronounced, so it's just jewel re. And an example sentence could be, my best friend loves buying jewellery, she buys bracelets all the time. Okay guys, so that is it for part two. So if you would like to see the next part, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to leave any comments or suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.